Hello there and welcome back to the channel today. I really appreciate you being here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use a bunch of assorted parts to build a device that will raise and lower my 55 inch Samsung flat screen TV on my patio cover. Okay, I have all the metal parts welded up. They'll need to be cleaned up and painted, of course, but before I go to all that effort, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-build this thing, or at least the lifting part here in my garage. I wanna test it out and make sure that it'll work the way I think it should. I wanna do all that before I go back there to my back porch and start adding all this stuff, only to realize it might not work. Okay, I got this part made. It's not perfect, but it'll work. I wound up using a 5 8 rod as opposed to the half inch rod. This supports the top of the actuator. This will also be the adjustment for the position of the actuator. Okay. Now it's beautiful, works. Okay, here I've made a rough welding fixture. This piece of wood here, this is the hole pattern for the back of the television. And this also is at the right height and everything in relation to these bars I've made. The reason I had to do this is because I have to weld a couple of uh, cross struts across here to give this thing some rigidity and hold it in the right location and everything. But before I do all that, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this fixture here up to my uh, device to see if it actually has the motion I expect it to have. This represents my 6 and 12 roof pitch of my patio cover back there. And then this fixture here, this thing that's holding the TV, attaches to my axle bar here using quarter 20 U-bolts. Okay, I've got the actuator plugged in. I ran it one time. It needs some adjusting, but I'll show you what it does now. Like I said, I'm thinking the way the TV will pull this on back to closer to vertical. Here's what it does. And what happens here is it's not pulling it up as tight as it needs to. So I'll have to adjust my adjustment bolt here a little bit. I'm gonna take and adjust the adjustment bolt out to make this thing come all the way up to tight. As I'm moving this adjustment bolt, you can see it bringing it further and further up. That's pretty close, just a tiny bit more. Okay, I have the frame welded up now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another test fit before I take the time to clean all this up, get all this rust off, and paint it. So I'm going to get this mounted to my device here, get the TV mounted to that, and we'll see if this thing actually is going to work.
Okay, now for the test. I'm going to let it down first. Uh oh, I got to plug it in. Try number two. Next thing we got to do is take all of it back apart, clean up all that welding, get this thing mounted to my patio cover. Here's the woodwork already stained and ready to go. I've also made the preparations to the patio cover, so this thing's ready to install. Now for the hard part is to get this 55 inch Samsung Smart TV from here to up there by myself. I think I can do it.
I've read several articles online as to whether or not it's okay to lay a flat screen TV on its back. Some people say you can and some people say you cannot. Anyway, we're going to find out because this thing's going to be going through some motions as I lift and lower it each time that I want to use it. So we'll see how long this thing lasts. Hey, if this video has been entertaining to you or helpful to you in some way, maybe you can make your own drop down TV now. But uh, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button, subscribe, and tap that bell icon so that you'll be made aware of future videos. Until my next video, thanks again for watching.